I'm not too sure what's going on with the economy, but I do know that it's really putting a strain on everybody's finances and also uh, just kind of, I guess, affecting people's current job situations. Has it affected your current job situation at all? Or where do you work first, I guess? Uh, well, I work at UMass uh, in Whitmore, um, so it's definitely affected my job situation. Um, just in terms of having the budget uh, in UMass getting tightened has been really difficult. Um, also, not being too sure that I'd be able to even be hired after uh, after I graduate because it's cheaper for them to employ a student instead of somebody full time. Mm -hmm. uh, has your family been affected? Their jobs, your parents' jobs, or anything like that? Um, yeah, it's affected uh, a little bit my dad's um, just in terms of like his retirement. He's now retiring a lot later than he's been planning, so it's, mm -hmm. it's put kind of a strain on the family a little bit. Yep. And what about your sister? She's in college now, so. Do you know if she's had any hardships with money or anything because of us? Um, yeah, not, you know, specific details, but yeah, definitely it's, you know, made it tougher for us to find funds, you know, for both of us to go to UMass. Uh, it's definitely a lot, you know, a lot more difficult to pay for. Now, uh, has the economy and how everything is with it right now affected your plans for after college? What were you planning on doing after college, and how has that changed or not changed? Um, yeah, it's kind of made me almost reevaluate things. Uh, I had been originally planning on probably pursuing a job uh, out of college, and the job market's pretty, pretty rough right now, and so the other option would be grad school. But just with the economy being the way it is and the strain that it's put uh, financially on me, I'm not sure if I'll even be able to pay for grad school and you know how I'd be able to do that. It's still kind of a mystery. Has the economy affected ways that you've been spending the money that you do have? Have you been saving more or going out less? Or just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I uh, definitely you know saving more. Uh, watching what I spend on, you know, I can't, I can't buy a lot of things that I would normally just purchase, uh, just because I know that, you know, finances are so difficult in terms of, you know, keeping, keeping money coming in, that I have to really be careful of my money going out. Mm -hmm. Has, uh, it affected, like, your mental health, like, like, stress yeah. levels or emotions, like, <laughs> yeah. how has it affected your emotions? Oh, man, I just... Just in terms of like thinking about money all the time and figuring out how I'm going to be able to, you know, pay for things, uh, it's kind of been a little stressful. Uh, it's, you know, always in the back of my mind now in terms of uh, the decisions I make, if they're going to be uh, positive financially for me or if it's going to, you know, be some sort of difficulty or problem. What do you think can be done, if anything, to be like fix the economy right now? Do you think it's something that people can individually do, or do you think that it's just a systematic problem, or just you don't even know what to do about it? Um, I'm not too sure what can be done to fix the situation. I know that it's not easy, and it's definitely not going to take just you know a year or so. It's going to be really difficult, I guess, for powers to be right now, like the Obama administration, just to get, like, get this strained out. It probably won't be anytime soon, unfortunately, but I'm not sure, you know, how. It's kind of a mystery. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they figure out somehow, some way soon. What do you think of all the bailouts that the government gives to big companies? And I mean, this is your money that they're spending, so do you think that they're using it wisely, or do you think that this money... They're just dumping money into a failing system? or Yeah, I think that they're kind of throwing our money at companies and industries that are kind of not failing, but, you know, on their way out, and it, it kind of sucks. Uh, it's a little frustrating just knowing that that's where our money is going to instead of maybe something else that, I don't know, I don't really know, like, a great solution for the situation right now, but I don't think throwing, uh, throwing like, the citizens and people's money um, at these companies, like, at these financial companies helps the most. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate you doing the interview and hearing your thoughts on the economy. Thank you.